And Brian, again, we've seen this situation before. The Heat in a close game and not getting it done down the stretch. As we really reach the bell lap now on the year, at what point do you think this becomes a major concern for Miami? Well, Josh, they're not getting um, easy baskets whatsoever in close game situations, and that's not what you'd expect with Dwayne Wade and LeBron James on the same team. And in, in the here talking about hoping for breakthroughs and, and, and believing they can turn the corner, that's not what they all signed up for. These guys, when they came together, thought that they would be turning the corner much faster. So it is definitely a concern. It's definitely a concern that they're, they're having difficulty with two great scores getting it done in the clutch. You mentioned uh, Eric Spolster's comments, uh, again, speaking that he's waiting for the breakthrough. They are waiting for the breakthrough. What is the confidence level? And as somebody who's around this team every day, you know it as well as anybody. About this team now, again, about 20 games out from a playoff push, but a team that has seen an up-and-down regular season to this point. Well, they are confident. I mean, I mean they, they look at their record and say that they've won a lot of games and they do are right there with the Boston Celtics still for the top seed in the Eastern Conference. But their, but their big problem, uh, you know, has been they haven't been able to get it done against uh, teams that they might play in the playoffs. So they've lost the last two times to the Knicks. They're 0-5 against the Bulls and the, and the Celtics. They have not been able to, to, to build anything uh, to get some momentum. And these next 10 games, they're going to be facing a lot of challenges. And, you know, that's why I think they're going to point to. They're going to hope that they can work their way out of the slump against good teams. Brian Windhorst with the very latest as he covers the heat for ESPN.com.